Canine elbow dysplasia is a common condition with no known cure. The long-term consequences vary between the mildest form, where dogs can appear normal, to the severest form, which can cause crippling pain. There is only one way to permanently influence the long-term outcome for an affected dog, and that's by pursuing a specific diagnosis. And the only way to get a specific diagnosis is with a specific series of diagnostic tests. X-rays tell us if a dog has elbow dysplasia, CT tells us more about bone damage, and arthroscopy gives us a complete picture of the most important structure in a joint, which is cartilage. Now, even though British people like me love our pets, one survey of British pet owners found that less than three in 10 lame dogs actually get a definitive diagnosis. We don't know why so few dogs get a diagnosis, but we do know that if they had, the door would have opened to a much wider range of treatment options. Now, it's okay to make a mistake. It's okay to miss a diagnosis, provided we don't spend months treating the wrong condition. If we miss a diagnosis of elbow dysplasia, those months were wasted. We could have invested that time wisely on a condition-specific therapy. If you're one of our YouTube subscribers, we'll discuss those therapies in detail in our elbow dysplasia treatment series. Now, the second reason to pursue a diagnosis is that every dog with elbow dysplasia has arthritis, and arthritis is always progressive. One study showed that the odds of an affected dog having a more severe form of elbow arthritis increased by 1.6% for every additional month of age. Critically, elbow dysplasia always involves mechanical cartilage damage, and despite the popular hype, medical treatments can make no impact on mechanical wear. The only treatments capable of delaying or reversing cartilage degeneration are surgical treatments, and these treatments are only available for dogs with a specific diagnosis. So in this series of guides, I'll talk you through the diagnostic tests and explain how specialists like me use the results of those tests to make good treatment choices.